bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. Hi again, everyone. Welcome back to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Maggie Skura. I want to introduce you now to uh, someone who's been very active in our community for a number of years. His name is Richard Konda, and he is executive director of the Asian Law Alliance. Welcome back, Richard. It's good to see you again. Good to see you. And uh, give us an idea about what the Asian Law Alliance does. Obviously, it sounds like something that deals with problems and resolutions. And uh, so tell me how it started and what exactly it, it is that you do. So we started uh, a long time ago, back in the mid-70s, there were a bunch of law students who wanted to try to do something for the community. And so it was established so that we try to approach problems in different ways. One would be direct legal services, helping people you know, resolve their issues, whether it be by representation or consultation. The other thing we do a lot is what we call community education. So we'll go out to like a senior center or a community center and try to help people learn about their legal rights and responsibilities. We do probably more than 100 of those presentations every year and reach upwards of 4,000 people. So community education is very important to us. We also get involved in different kind of, kinds of advocacy issues. So maybe it's uh, immigration reform or issues related to police practices. And we'll kind of join with other groups and try to advocate for more just treatment. Now, you have seen tremendous changes in the Asian community in this valley in the last uh, several decades. How has that affected what you do? Certainly, we've seen many new immigrants and refugees arrive, and, and the problems are going to kind of continue. It becomes more complex. Uh, recently, we were uh, speaking at Catholic Charities, and there were uh, quite a few new refugees who had just arrived from Burma. And this is a completely new refugee group um, and trying to figure out how they're going to fit into the society. So we were trying to help them understand the, their legal rights and responsibilities and giving them some basic information that we thought would be helpful to them. Way back when you started this organization, uh, law students, did you ever think that you would still be as relevant today and still going as strong? Well, when we started, uh, I don't think that we were that forward thinking. I think at the time we thought, you know, this is something that the community needs and let's just try to do something. And, and it just over time has evolved so that we've been there to really try to help people, again, understand their rights and responsibilities and then resolve different issues. Well, you're being modest, but you've done tremendous work over three decades, and uh, I'm sure that as a law student, you probably never thought you'd be still doing this, but it was, you know, as you said, a bunch of students with a good idea to do something good for the community, and that's how things start, right? right. Now, you do have an event coming up to celebrate. Um, right. Each year, we have an anniversary event, and, and as part of the event, we try to uh, honor certain individuals who've made contributions to the community. So this year we're honoring the Chief Justice of the California Supreme Court, Ron George. He's been a longtime advocate for equal access to the justice system and obviously he was the author of the marriage equity um, a decision which we thought was a, a right decision. We're also honoring the uh, state controller John Shang who's been a real role model to, for us in the community as well as local uh, businessman uh, Dr. Jerry Hiura who's been very active in the arts. And this is coming up uh, in March and what's the date? It's March the 27th and it'll be at the uh, San Jose Fairmont Hotel. So it's, it's a fun event. Uh, we have you know, uh, lawyers, law firms, businesses, people from the community who come out and just come together and celebrate the, the occasion. Uh, I know that you're, you've given us some website information. If people go to your website, if they think they may have an issue, uh, what are they likely to, to learn there? Right, the website does connect, connect them to different links of information. It has information, again, about our event coming up. And it also has other ways in terms of where, how you can volunteer, how you can contribute. Um, so there's a wealth of information on our website. Okay, and uh, tickets for your event? How, you can contact how us. How you can contact <laughs> us, and then we'll, we'll you know, um, by email or by phone, and we'll be happy to discuss the, 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 uh, the tickets with you. All right, so it's the Asian Law Alliance celebrating their 32nd anniversary, and you haven't changed a bit, Richard. Let me tell you that. Congratulations, and thanks for being with us. Thanks so much. That's it for now on Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Maggie Skira. We'll be back with more later.